Hello guys, this is Pavel Skor from Laravel Daily and today in this video I will do some live coding and I will show you how to deal with localization and languages in auth routes. Because the problem is in default Laravel project as you can see there is login and register route and they are handled by auth routes function. But if you want to have your project uh, localized with URLs, something like and about, for example, and that should be the language. So, for example, DE for German or FR for French and stuff like that. You probably will do route group with locale as a parameter, but it won't work in auth routes by default. And I will show you why it won't work and I will show you how to deal with that. So, let's go. Uh, default Laravel routes looks like that. I've already done make auth, artisan make auth, and then artisan migrate for default users table. But apart from that, it's a fresh Laravel 5.7 project. Now, what if you want to do that? Uh, I've copied and pasted some part. This. So this would be the syntax. You have route group, prefix locale, which is the two letters I've shown you before, and then all the routes should be prefixed. Uh, how would it work? Let's load the home page. Home page will throw an error. It's trying to uh, it's trying to actually load the view exception, but even exception doesn't know the URL for home. And if we do specify that en, it will try to load uh, welcome blade from here, which contains login route. And login route in our case is already prefixed with locale. So login should be uh, with, like, for example, en. Refresh. Register. Same thing. Register en. So basically, we need to add uh, parameters in all the routes. Okay, now we have that home page at least, but that's not the thing we actually want to do. We don't want to hard code the language in here. So let's do it step by step. I have uh, on my phone, I have some plan and we've prepared route group uh, and we're on the right track. So the first step is to make web prefix locale. Uh, also, let's make it only two letters long. So where locale will be uh, will be a uh, regex, a uh, regular expression, a z2 is the syntax. Uh, and now probably it's enough. And then, so this should work. Well, same error, but this shouldn't work. Yeah, it's different error. Okay, so this works. So we've done this. Let's make it more readable like this. So some more rules. Now what we need to do is to set the locale on every URL. Basically, wherever you uh, wherever you go, uh, the locale. The actually, I will show you. In config app PHP, there is a function. There is a one of the setting locale, which can be overridden at any point. So we would create a middleware, and uh, inside of that middleware, we will create that locale we will set that locale according to URL. So here I am in my terminal and let's create artisan make middleware set locale. And a lot of people think that uh, in middleware you can just restrict things. Not at all. You can do whatever in your middleware. It's just a middleware class before the result. So in this case, we don't do any restrictions. We just do app set locale and we have a request here as a parameter so request segment one segment one is the first part of that url and that's it then we need to register that middleware in kernel in our route middleware so uh, set locale for example would be set locale class Okay, uh, and that's probably, yeah, it's automatically, actually I don't like that syntax, I like to be whole path there too. So like that, and then we need to assign that to here. 
So middleware set locating. Okay, uh, that's probably good. And then uh, let's test it actually. Let's probably, it won't change anything here in this case. Let's move on. Uh, let's uh, add automatic redirect from home page to the locale. Uh, we'll, we'll do that just inside of that route and outside of that group. So if we get to home page, then we'll just redirect to return redirect to app get okay. That's it. So on home page, you will be redirected to slash em if that works. Yep, that works. It still shows an error, but we don't have a home page as such. We just have home pages for our languages. Next step is to add parameters everywhere, as I've done before in uh, Welcome Blade. But the difference is that we don't uh, add em or any language. We add app get locale. Get locale in here. There are quite a few places to add, so bear with me here. So home, uh, actually URL is okay. No, URL is not okay. Uh, URL should be this, then slash home. This one, so register also expects that URL. So we're good in welcome blade. Yep, but if we click login, it will probably fail because the form post is also bad. So we need to go through all auth files, login, route login. Then probably there will be forgot password here, password request. Okay, so login should be fine now. Okay, login still not. Login. Hmm, weird. Oh, it's an app PHP, app blade PHP. So layouts, it's not only welcome, it's in main app blade. Uh, okay, so we need to do this and this. And logout is also affected. Action, okay. Yep, we're good with login form. Now register form should also fail. So we get to register. Route register here and probably somewhere here. No, nothing else. Okay, so register is done. And let's go through all of them. So verify, uh, verification we send also is affected. Passwords, passwords email actually, let's, let's check if it works. Uh, forgot your password, probably will fail. Password reset, of course. Uh, so route here. Yep, now that work. And final thing is reset. Uh, password update should be also taken here. Okay, we've replaced uh, everything and now it should be working everywhere without a failure. So login form, register form, let's try to log in with something and we should probably see a proper error. Yep, the post works as well. Okay, so we've replaced and we've added parameters everywhere. Uh, I'm looking at my plan here now. Right, uh, next what we need to do is overwrite the parameters after registration and after login. So if we go, actually let's close everything, and if we go to register controller, which is an app HTTP controllers auth, there is a parameter redirect to, and it's automatically redirected to home. So if we go to register, we will get to slash home, which won't work because uh, slash home is not prefixed with locale. And I'm not sure if you know, but you can override that parameter with a function. So public function redirect redirect to, maybe not only a variable, a property, but also a function. So return uh, app uh, get locale and then home, something like that. And same thing we do with login controller, which is also overridable, so to speak, uh, because it's a function of trade, and trade functions can be, <coughs> sorry, can be overridden in controllers. 
Right, and now let's try to register. Uh, I will use form filler, try to register, and I should be redirected to EN Home. Yes, we're good. So EN Home is the URL that we actually wanted. And now we have working auth routes. Uh, I didn't I didn't remember the password. Okay, let's try to register again and now I will remember the password and then we will try to log in to test if it actually works. Okay. Okay, so I've registered. Now I will log out. I should get to slash en, then log in, same email. Yep, it works uh, without any errors. And final few things. So let's actually implement the languages. Uh, language change, language choosing the language, because for now all we have is part of URL. So there's no uh, link to click to change the language. Let's add those links in uh, uh, app blade PHP in layout. So here where we have all those links, we will add more links here. So authentication links. But on top of that, let's add a link. Actually, let's copy and paste this one because it has all the bootstrap classes. So instead of route login, we will have route, um, what would be the route? It's not even a route, so it's not even a route, or will it be a route actually? Mm, route correct name. All oh, right, of course. I'm, I've again, I've taken a look at my notes. Um, this will be a route, but right, it will be route, uh, then route get current name, I think it is, oh, that, not that one, so illuminate, so not that route, route, I need facade, right, this one, so route, and then it should be automatically get current, no, not get, so current route name, this one, and then parameter will be the locale, uh, let's put EN here and let's try to uh, to put the login out and we add a language. Just let's refresh and see if it actually works. Okay, EN here and it redirects to EN home. If you go, if you look down below, it's the same URL but with different language. So if we add uh, a DE here, for example, with parameter DE. Uh, Let's do that. And if we click DE, it will be DE home. And if we go back, EN home. Now let's make it more flexible and configurable. Let's get back to our config app PHP. Config app PHP. And let's add on top of locale, available locales will be an array, array of all possible languages. So let's add EN. DE and FR. Okay, and let's get through through them here. So for each config, for each config app available locales as locale, um, and for each here and in here we change this to locale. I change this to start to upper okay okay we delete that one and let's see if we have those three links so en d and fr and the final thing to do here is to make it uh, the actionable the the current language active so we need to change that link to something like if 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 app get locale equals our locale doing it in the wrong thing in the wrong uh, place so this so if app get locale equals locale uh, then we add something like style style text decoration underline for example 
Okay, should be good. Now EN should be underlined. If we click DE, then DE should be underlined and so on. So now we have a switch between languages and it's all working. And final thing, let's fill in the actual translations. Uh, for example, I'm not a German or French, I don't know uh, the languages, but, uh, but let's try, it. for example, dashboard you are logged in. They are uh, in app, in home, I think, in home blade. Uh, dashboard you are logged in, they are not um, under translations, but login form, for example, let's get back to our login form. Uh, all the login form is under translation, so login blade. If you can see, it's underscore functionality, underscore login, uh, which we can override the translation in JSON format. So if we create resources, lang, uh, new file, de json for example and we create some parameters here so login is not sure how that is in german so login in de for example then uh, what else do we have here uh, login email address put it here and then email in de and so on and you have to return the JSON. So what happens if we click DE and then log in? Email in DE and log in in DE. So all you need to do to translate those languages is filling. So there are a few options here, but if you want to deal with JSON, you just need to create resources lang and then language file JSON, and then all those login constants will be uh, will be translated to to the language. That's it for this video. So this is kind of a long process, but that's the shortest I know how how to implement uh, routing localization for authentication routes.